all know that motion is a change with time of the position or orientation of a body. But did you know that motion is everywhere? To the gushing wind from moving vehicles, anything that has movement, motion is present. We can simply tell if an object is in motion if there is a change in position. However, we can also determine that it is moving by the change of velocity, distance, displacement, and acceleration. If a vehicle were to move from one place to another, how can we tell if it is moving? Correct! We can base an object's movement by looking at the reference point. A reference point is a stationary body used as a basis to determine the distance, direction, and motion of an object. Trees, poles, houses, and other buildings are great reference points. With reference points, we can also determine an object's displacement. Displacement is the shortest path or the difference between the initial and final positions of objects in motion. This vehicle is moving at the speed of 50 km per hour and is moving in a straight line towards the east. Distance is the measurement of the total length an object traveled. Let's take a look at another example. A person walks 10 kilometers east, 5 kilometers south, and 10 kilometers west. To get the distance, add all the given. 10 kilometers plus 5 kilometers plus 10 kilometers is equal to 25 kilometers. The shortcut or path that was left where the person could have just walked straight to is called displacement. Thus, the distance traveled by the person is 25 kilometers and the displacement made is 5 kilometers south. Speed Speed is the time rate at which an object is moving along a path. Just like motion, speed can also be seen everywhere. Speed can be seen through a propeller of an electric fan or a snail climbing up a wall. Speed is calculated by dividing the distance traveled by the elapsed time. Speed can be represented in units, meters per second, meters per hour, and kilometers per hour. Using the provided formula earlier, let us solve this problem. A dog runs at a distance of 30 meters in 12 seconds. Find the speed of the dog. To get the answer, we must divide 30 meters by 12 seconds. 30 meters over 12 seconds is equal to 2.5 meters per second. Therefore, the dog traveled at the speed of 2.5 meters per second, also known as the speed with direction. Velocity is the rate in direction of an object's movement. Velocity can be changed if there is a change in speed, direction, or both. If there is a change in the rate of velocity, the object is accelerating. Acceleration is a vector quantity that is defined as the rate at which an object changes its velocity. Vector quantity is defined as the physical quantity that has both magnitude as well as direction. A scalar quantity is defined as the physical quantity that has only magnitude. For us to get the acceleration of an object, we must subtract the initial velocity and final velocity, then divide it by the time elapsed. 
in this problem, a sports car accelerates from 30 meters per second to 65 meters per second in 15 seconds. Calculate the acceleration of the sports car. 30 meters per second is the initial velocity. 65 meters per second is the final velocity. 15 seconds is the time elapsed. Note that the initial velocity is usually found after the verb of the sentence. Subtract 30 meters per second to 65 meters per second. Then, divide the difference to 15 seconds. Therefore, the sports car's average acceleration is negative 2.33 meters per second squared. Trivia! Did you know that there are three ways an object in motion can move? If an object in motion is moving in a straight line, it is called rectilinear motion. And when it moves in a curvy path, it is called the curvilinear motion. The last one is called angular motion. It is when an object in motion moves in an angular way or path. And did you know that when an object is speeding up, it is called positive acceleration? And when an object is decelerating or slowing down, it is called negative acceleration?